All right, you guys asked for it. The long-awaited cultist farming guide. I'm going to go in-depth about everything that goes through my mind when I'm cultist farming, how I'd gear up, the servers I'd pick, everything, everything, everything. I even took the day off of streaming today to get this out to you. I do stream before I do YouTube. So um, if you guys would check out my Twitch, that means a lot. That's in the description below. And uh, let's get down into it. Okay, in terms of gear, I would stick with 7.62 or bigger. It just packs a punch, unlike these other rounds, like 5.56, 5 5.45. 5 5. Most of those bullets don't even have enough flesh damage to one tap occultus in the head. You would need two to the head, and honestly, good luck if you need two to the head with these guys, because they are absolutely cracked. They don't wear helmets, though, so um, like BP, if you just one tap in the head, real easy. I have had some fun with, um, with like a P90 leg bend and stuff like that, but... I would stick with this first because you're probably not ready for that yet. These guys are pretty tricky at first, but once you get it down, you can get away with some of the some of the more fun stuff like the P90 and all that. Um, now, I would bring a huge bag. If you're duo, probably would just run like an attack two or something. But um, if you're solo, man, the last thing you want to do is find like three slicks and not be able to take, every, take all the loot because your bag's not big enough, you know. To so raid bag, maybe blackjack if you don't have any raid bags or something. But huge bag is basically what I'm getting at. And you want to run quad nods. Um, these are pretty expensive and you'd high trader to find them or whatever, but um the budget stuff just looks so bad compared to it, man. Cultists don't really show on thermals very well. They're like very faint because they're cold blooded. So night vision is the move. I like to run the delta point with night vision just because of the fact that it doesn't glow. The Valde Crutchet is also a good site, and I don't like to run scopes because they're very dark. When you pull them in raid with night vision, they're just like very, very, very dark on the inside. But um, this is probably what I'd run. I like to run the TV-110 because I can chuck it in the bag if I find like a slick or something in a rig and then just have it to hold more loose loot. But um, other than that, that's probably what I'd go in with. My NVG post effects are in my Discord as well as all my post effects and gun builds. But um, all I do is crank that to zero and then, or negative 100, sorry. And then saturation negative 60. And then I keep all the other stuff the same. I know people do that black and white night vision stuff. I don't really care for it. It's um, a lot of work to change to, and I don't think it really helps. I think it's just like something people do because they think it's cool. But um, if you like it, use it. If you don't, don't use it. I think for that, you just crank everything to, it's either zero or negative 100, and then you go to feather 100. I'm pretty sure somebody can correct me in the comments below, but I don't use it just because it's a lot of work. But um, let's go into raid and I'll show you where they all spawn in the whole the whole thing. Okay, so I'm in an offline raid right now. Keep in mind cultists only spawn between 22 and 6. There's always four guards on customs and one boss. The guards are named Sectant and the boss is named Shrek, but with a Z, so Shrek, I guess. Um, I like to call him Shrek. But basically what you want to do is come in the back of Mechanic. All right now they didn't spawn in, so actually I'm just going to run out here and show you where they spawn. Um, the one that sits close is a guard, either sits right here, or right here, like along this area somewhere, and he does burpees a ton. A lot of them just like to do burpees, it's weird, or they just crouch. Now, um, so that's guard number one. Guard two is either gonna sit, like, right around here, back behind this bush, or in between these sheds, right here. Guard number three, actually we'll say this is guard number three, is gonna be either right here, or right here, crouching. And then the boss is either going to be right here or right here crouching. It just depends. Like guard, boss, or guard, boss, right? And then guard number five is going to be laying down right here. Doing burpees or uh, doing burpees over here. Now, um, this is the hard one to fight. But the other ones are pretty easy to farm because they're predictable. The thing about cultists is you want to make it as predictable as possible. Things that you can do to make them start acting weird would be to run outside, <laughs> right? Maybe if they ran into a PMC on the other side, they could be acting weird. If you start throwing grenades, they're going to start running around in all sorts of places. They don't make any noise when they move, so be careful. And make sure you have a, uh, an antidote or some augmented on you for this next part because it gets kind of crazy. So regardless of where you spawn, you want to come in this back door so you're safe. Because if you challenge them from from that alley over there if you're over there or if you're on this side you're crazy what i like to do if i spawn on this side of the map over here is come up to the wall so what i'll do is i'll run up to this wall from back here and i'll jump a couple times and i'll be looking at that crate right because if they spawned in there's 100 going to be one sitting right here 
So if I see him, or if I see like the one right here or something, I'm going to run all the way around construction, all the way around that building to the back of the mechanic building like I was sitting. Now, um, I'm struggling getting them to spawn in offline. So what I'm going to do is show you some uh, some raids of me like duo farming the cultists. Just like quickly cut them up so you can see how they act and how I handle the situations. But if I were to briefly explain it, in a duo, you would have your friend watching this door. And you would have you or, you know, like, I, yeah, so you would be right here and your friend would be back there, right? You would be right here. And then either this close one is going to be like right here. You can just quickly kill him. And then aim for that deep one and the guard, like the, the leader and the guard back here, right? Or if this one isn't in sight close, what you want to do is kill the guard, kill the boss in whatever order. Those two right there. You want to quickly get them out of the way and then be real careful because one might one, one might like swiftly run across your screen right here and go around back. And the other one that spawns on the side is going to run around the back too. So... If you're solo, once you kill these guys, you have to quickly, quickly, quickly be prepared for this back door to open. Sometimes it opens silently because they're bugged. Other times it makes noise. You can turn around and catch them. But just stare at the back because they don't often run in this front door, but they, they pretty much all the time run through the back door here. Or if your friend's watching it, you're good. You can just kind of poke around. So once I kill these two, if your friend's watching it, you want to look around to the left here just in case that one doesn't push. But if he does, he's going to come right back anyways. And then... At this point, you should have killed these two and these close two that flank, right? You'll have four dead. There's one left. It's the guard. This is the one that's real weird. What I like to do to go fight him is run out the back here. Because he doesn't like to move. So, I just run this way. Now, he's either going to be sitting at this point right here. To the left here. Or laying down right here. So, what I'll do... I'll come out this way, preferably with a duo. I'm looking right here. There's nothing. In which case, I'm going to go right here. If there's, if he's here, I'm going to kill him, right? And then if not, I'll just come around here and I'll start spraying the ground to kill his ass. Because <laughs> he'll be laying down right here if he's not in those two places. Now, if he's not in any of these, it's because somebody threw a nade and they started acting weird. That's when stuff gets weird. I would probably loop back inside. And just start chucking nades everywhere until he does something and just watch the doors. Honestly, that's that's the best way to deal with it. At that point, it's kind of tough. Um, I know it sounds very confusing at this point, but um, they're just a weird, a weird kind of AI, man. But it's worth farming once you get it down. Once you do this like ten times minimum, right? It'll just kind of be like it'll just kind of be like butter for you guys. You'll get it down pretty quick. A lot of the stuff I explain is gonna make sense. And um, that's 100% how I'd approach it. Now I'm just going to show you guys some gameplay. I'm going to cut straight to the point of me like actually fighting the cultists a couple times for you guys. So you can see how it goes down, how easy it ends up being, and how weird they can act at points. So it's just like, it's just something you have to experience to learn. I hope this helps guys. Enjoy the, uh, the cultist farming gameplay and I'll catch you in the next one. Right, oh, I thought that that was the cultist movie. No, you can't hear them. Oh, true. Completely silent. Yeah, 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 you're right. This guy's going into the shed though for sure. Yep. It's closed. He's either outside or already in there. Alright. Alright, so we'll assume position, alright? I'm gonna try to dome one to get this whole party started. Alright, I got one. Got two, I think. No, I didn't. He's pushing now. Oh shit. All right, one's out okay. to the right, one's pushing up. You want to watch your the door? Back here, yeah, mine over the back, the back, the back. I don't know why they haven't pushed. They will, though. Have faith, my friend. Oh, yep. Two, two, two. You got them? Two dead. They nice. freaking... The first one phased through yeah, the door, yeah. bro. That's why, yeah, that's why you gotta watch the fucking door. God dang. All right, I got one. another one that's three there's two more they're probably gonna come around back oh oh there's one that posted okay i got one more damn they're sitting in weird spots now there should be one that runs around the back door that's weird that they're not okay so either so there's one more either he is gonna run to the back door or He's, he's being all weird, and he's sitting behind this one white shed. 
Okay. Mm. Um. If I throw a nade at him, there's a chance he runs the back door, but there's also a chance he just bugs out and runs to some weird place and then kills both yeah. of us. So, <laughs> I think we gotta we gotta approach it sur surgically. You know what I mean? All right. Yeah, I like that. So I think Smart. the move is we both go out this back door here. Okay. And we just slowly, slowly clear where he's likely to be. Feel me on that? I feel you. So basically, there is a blue wall. The one I'm looking at, right? Yeah. That blue wall, he either sits right oh, behind yeah. that blue wall, or he sits behind this green wall to the left. Yep, 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 yep. Right. Oh, he's right here. Okay, weird. He ran to the body, was looting it. Okay, that should be all of them. Oh, Let's fuck. Them. Look at these two real quick. I'll go, I can I know where the other ones are. Not bad. I can't believe they didn't run to the back door, dude. That's so weird. That is weird, dude. I, uh, if you find any knives, I only need three more for my quest. Okay, I got one over here. Damn, I just got a PKPM, dude. Ooh! God damn.